Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing really good. So today, in this video, we are going to learn about effective length. Effective length, it depends on the support conditions for columns. Based on the support condition, the shape of the column buckling changes. So, we will see that through experiments and study the concept. So, let's get started. What is effective length? It is the length of the column, unsupported length of the column multiplied by effective length factor. So, what is an effective length? Effective length is this factor K multiplied by unsupported length and the factor k is effective length factor so what is an unsupported length of the column unsupported length is the length of the column measured as the clear distance between the supports let's see in the image so here you can see these beams are secondary beams are being supported on the primary beams and primary beams are supported on the columns and column is supported through this foundation so between these two supports from bottom of the beam to top of the foundation this length is called unsupported length it is the clear distance where the column is not supported so now we will see effective length factor cases these cases depends on the support conditions or end conditions of the column based on that condition the effective length factor changes so let's see this one end is fixed and this end we will give it as a fixed support for that i'm using my hand as a support so i will hold this really tight and both are fixed supports so this is both in fixed column so let's apply load the first case is both ends fixed so here both of the ends are restrained against rotation and translation that is lateral movement is restricted so if you apply the load on this type of column which is fixed at both the ends so the buckling curve will be like this it will be straight at both the ends and curved at center so k effective length factor is 0.5 so l effective is unsupported length divided by 2 and IS code that is Indian standard code recommendation is take K as 0.65 this is a stick and this is wax so in that wax I have fixed this stick and created a fixed support so we have two conditions with the fixed support for that column with one end fixed and other end pin so let's do the experiment and apply the load so can you observe the shape It is straight here and 
occur here. Next case is one end fixed and one end pin. So here held in position the both ends are held in position that is they are not allowed to translate and at one support that is at fixed support it is not even allowed to rotate but at pin support it is allowed to rotate so if one end is fixed and one end is pin and if we apply load then the shape of buckling will be like this curve from the pin support and straight at fixed support so effective length factor k is 0.7 for this case and i scored a recommendation is 0.8 so this is a pin connected column i have tied here with the help of rope and so it can rotate but it cannot translate so this is a pin connection and i am holding here like this so let's convert it like this and apply a load on that column can you see the shape of that buckling? We will just draw it on the paper. Both ends pin. So here both ends are restrained against lateral movement but they are allowed to rotate. So here, if we apply the load at both ends, the shape of the buckling will be like this. Curvature. In this case, effective length factor is 1. It's the theoretical value is 1. And IS code recommendation is also 1. At one end is fixed and other end is free okay so we will keep this as it is and we will just apply a load over here are you able to observe the shape so it is curved but that curve extends at the bottom also one end is fixed and other end is free so here, one end is not allowed to rotate, not allowed to translate, but this free support is does not have any restrictions. So what will be the K factor in this condition? Thank you so much to you all for being with me throughout this video we will learn many more concepts in the subsequent videos till then bye bye and happy learning find this video useful then please share it will help others and subscribe to get notified about the new video